going on guys it's your boy skinny double y and i'm here with another tutorial today all right today simple quick talking about reverb um putting it on instruments putting it in your beats we're not talking about vocals we're not talking about anything else we're gonna go right into it i got this uh piano here with the heat up 2 blackout edition this piano is called tears i believe uh, this is the grand. Okay, it's a grand piano. It's irrelevant. But all right, we're gonna get into reverb. Here on this, I already have a reverb channel and delay channel set up on my beat template. But here's how you would set it up um, if there isn't one. So we're just gonna click on any empty track, save as a mixer, bring it over. Now we're going from scratch. Um, once you set up this reverb, y all you're gonna have to do is go through and send each instrument to the reverb. All right, so here, sending back into here, adjust this, it brings the reverb up, this is your send, sends it to this reverb channel. Alright, so first we're going to rename it, verb, color it, uh, whatever color, alright, and then on that track, slot 1, I'm always going to put an EQ, um, in, in case, instead of using the regular reverb, there might be some stuff you want to take out, now when I do reverb on vocals or reverb on, reverb on other stuff, I tend to take out the low end, um, depending on what it is, but on this one I'm not yet because I'm going to see what it sounds like with the reverb I'm going to throw reverb too you can use any different reverb I'm just using the native plugins um, actually I'll show you how to set up another one as well um, alright so reverb decays how long it decays out dry signal going to the reverb you want that all the way at 100 or reset wet you want that all the way reset at 100 this is stereo width of it I always turn that all the way left Low cut up until about 500 hertz. High cut, bring it up, and then size depending on how you want. I want it a little bigger, so for the piano. So now you'll hear how it sounds with the piano once you send it. This is without it. This is with it. Alright, and another way you can do reverb, a little trick that I use, how that piano is really, really sharp, if you want it to be soft, you can actually send it to two separate reverbs. Now, I don't have anything necessarily on this, although I would put um, an EQ first, always EQ before I compress. Take any of the low end out here that I don't want. Bring a little high end back into it. Makes it a little more crispy. Alright. <clears throat> and then you can compress it if you want, do whatever, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put a reverb 2 directly on the instrument. So now, without this reverb, without the send, this is what it'll sound like with the basic reverb on there. Whoops. My bad. I didn't mean to put that on the wrong channel. Reverb right on the channel. Now, in school they taught you to never put the reverb directly on the channel, but this sounds good. This is more sound design than it is adding reverb. So, a little sound design tip, if you want softer sounds, put that reverb on there. This is without it. This is with it. You can even do the same thing to this. Cut out the low, cut out the highs a little bit. Make it decay a little longer. Make it a little bigger, wider. And then this is at what 50% and this is at 100 what I do is I bring this down to like 80 and bring this down to like 25% see how that sounds now this is without it rings out a little, a little nice now if you add that on top of the reverb that we sent over it's gonna sound really big So you just get that nice ring out of the d basically double reverb technique. I don't know what it's called. I just started doing it one day. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's a quick tutorial on reverb. And uh, you got any questions, comments, leave them below. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, actually, 
one more thing. I'm gonna go over a third party reverb, how to set that up. Um, we'll say something like lexicon, lexicon reverb. Do I have it in here? Lex room, all right, there it is. Setting up third party reverb, maybe on Pro Tools or something else like that. I got this detached, that's why it's going over because I usually have it on my second screen. Um, basically, this is how you set it up. I just always go off a preset. I'll go to a medium room, set it, small studio, uh, reverb time, two seconds. And it's already at the 100% and I click early just to give it a little bit pre-delay. Now this is without it. This is with it. And we're not sending a whole we're not sending a whole bunch, but halfway. Now we'll send it all the way. See how clean that reverb is compared to the other one? But yeah, that's third third party uh, plug-in reverb. Luxcon, you got any questions? Once again, make sure you comment below. Hit me up at Skinny Double Y on social media, and make sure you visit my site SkinnyDoubleY.com. Drum kits, uh, FL mixer presets, tutorials, and everything else you need. Beats, all that good stuff. So, all right, catch you guys later. Peace.